Right now, what's happening, according to local reports and the alerts that we are getting, is a massive rocket barrage coming from Lebanon into northern Israel. Israeli media is reporting this is the largest barrage of rockets from Lebanon since the war in 2006. It's significant, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's associated with the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah. There are Palestinian groups like Hamas and Islamic Jihad that have offshoots that are operating in southern Lebanon. So we're still waiting to see who fired these rockets. But also, at this moment, the Israeli military is responding with artillery fire. To get back into a little bit about the lead-up to this, the flashpoint, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, in Jerusalem has remained a historic point of tension in the region. In 2021, there was a war that erupted following clashes at the mosque. But this year, things are different. The overlapping of holidays. You have Ramadan, you have Passover, and you have Jewish settlers who want to go to this holy site, and you want you have Palestinians who want to be there worshiping as well. And it has led to what is happening right now. The fact that Lebanon is currently involved in the unrest is a significant development. We understand, according to our sources right now, that the Israeli military is meeting with the top brass, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, to decide what the response will be. But it also opens up the possibility of a multi-front conflict that could unfold. Following the clashes on Tuesday night, factions inside Gaza fired around 18 rockets into southern Israel. While many of them were intercepted, it shows you the threats that Israel is facing right now, not just from Gaza, but also from Lebanon. So we're following the developments right now, but the latest information that we have, around 20 rockets have been fired from Lebanon into northern Israel, many of them intercepted, at least one impacted, but no injuries reported at this hour. Back to you, Brian Ainsley, Steve. Right.